Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of the Mindset Minute. My name is Deb Erickson. I'm a business mindset expert, and I'm going to help you transform your mindset during this crisis, right? During this time where everything is calling and sucking our focus and our energy in directions we don't want to go. So today we want to talk about how where your focus goes, that's what you're creating. Because get it. So you've heard, you've heard the old saying, right? Where your focus goes, your energy flows. But it's more than that. It's kind of what Flip Wilson used to say, right? Is that what you think, where your focus goes, that's what you become. That's who you are. That's the energy that you are creating. And so let me tell you from a neuroscience perspective what that means. It's simply, if you focus on fear and doubt, if you focus on what you can't do, what you can no longer do, if you focus on being vulnerable, if you focus on limits, then guess what? It's not, it's not so much that all of a sudden, magically, by voodoo, that's what you become. There's something more important that's happening here. Your brain has a mechanism called a reticular activating system. It's kind of like your own algorithm. Just like Facebook's algorithm, your brain has an algorithm. Whatever you focus on, you see more of it. You get more of it. You open up to more of it. So when you focus on fear, you're going to see more things to be afraid of. When you feel vulnerable, there's going to be a lot more that you're going to be aware of that makes you feel even more vulnerable. But guess what? If you turn your reticular activating system to work on things that you want, like expansion, right? If you focus on joy, if you focus on appreciation, if you focus on expectation of things that you want, if you focus on things growing, and if you focus on the fact that this is temporary, and if you focus on the fact that things will go back, they'll be better than they were before. If you focus on your business growing, if you focus on your family's health and wellness, you guys get it, then guess what? You, you find more of what you're focusing on. Have you ever gone on Facebook and you looked at something? Or maybe you Googled something, right? Hand, hand uh, let's say hand warmers or, or gloves or pocketbooks or it doesn't matter what, shoes, right? You go look at something and then all of a sudden you notice ads start popping up. You know why? Because Facebook has mastered the algorithm where the very thing you've shown interest in, it begins to chase you. <laughs> it follows you everywhere. Have you noticed it can even follow you on your other laptop and your desktop and your phone? You're like, how did it find me? You guys, this is the way your brain works. When you focus in on something, that energy will find you. It's how we're wired. It's not a big surprise. It's not mystical, right? It just is the way we are, the way we are designed, the way we work. So I'm here to tell you, I want to give you two power questions today. And here's what it is. Number one, whatever you're feeling, when you feel something, I want you to ask yourself, do I want more of this? Is this what I really want in my life? Is this what I want to have show up for me? And if the answer is no, then man, you have got to stop right here, right now. Stop it. Okay. I'm looking right in the eye. I'm going to say, knock it off. If you don't want more of it, knock it off. Stop focusing on it. Stop talking about it. Stop searching it. Stop looking for it. Because if you keep focusing on it, it will keep showing up. But instead, if you ask yourself, what do I want to feel instead? Not this, but what? I want to feel courage. I want to feel boldness. I want to feel confidence. I want to feel healthy. I want to feel vitality. I want to, I want to feel like I have choices, like I have options. I want to feel like things are coming back to normal fast, faster than expected. I want to feel like no matter where I go, I'm safe and secure. I want to feel like... Life is good. I want to feel like my family is safe and secure. I want to feel, you got it? I want to feel this. And guess what? Your brain helps you rendezvous with more of that. So here's the bottom line. You 
are the master of your mindset. And your mindset is directing and attracting more of whatever it is you focus on. I want you to be an I can mindset warrior, right? I want you to be a warrior where you are defending your mindset at all costs because you know what you think about comes about. What you focus on, you get more of. And so when you become an I can mindset warrior, you decide what it is that you want to let in. And as you do that, as you do that and you get more of it, you build confidence that you can create, beginning with your thoughts, you can create the life of your dreams even in the midst of chaos, even in the midst of crisis. You can have life the way you want it. I'm here to tell you that what you focus on gets bigger. So how about, right, we become I can mindset warriors and decide today what we are gonna focus on and then project it everywhere. Tell the world who you are and what you expect and what you will pay attention to, where you're gonna give your focus. You guys got it? Perfect. All right, tomorrow, I'm gonna come back, same time, same place, and I'm gonna talk why your focus matters. Why if you focus on fear and doubt, you are actually making yourself more vulnerable. Got it? So I'll tell you more about that tomorrow, but for today, recognize your focus matters and you get to be the warrior, the protector of your mindset, that individual that chooses in every moment of every day where you give your attention to. Got it? All right, guys, this was day two of your I Can Mindset Focus and Tools. Got it? All right, guys, love you much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.